Iowa. So what's it been like so far? Uh, so far, so good. You know, I mean, having a lot of fun and, uh, you know, kind of learning the system and stuff like that. But uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, what's the adjustment been going from head coach at a high school and then assistant here? Uh, I think a lot of it is just kind of learning uh, the way that Coach Ash runs the program and getting comfortable, you know, making sure that, uh, you know, I, I know exactly what my responsibilities are and, you know, learning uh, Coach McNulty's offense. I think that's been a lot of fun. It's, he, we're doing some really good stuff. So, I mean, those have probably been the biggest adjustments. Some people might say that maybe your adjustment is made easier because they think that you were running the high school program as you might a college program. Is that fair? Uh, think. Yeah, well, I, I will say this, that the time has not, it, you know, everyone kept telling me that the time was going to be crazy. The time is no different, uh, that's for sure. Um, you know, just now I, I really get to focus on, you know, pretty much two things. I get focused on, you know, doing the best job I can with the running backs and, you know, getting my feet under me as far as recruiting goes. So, you know, from that standpoint, I get to really focus on, you know, the things that are really important to my job, which is pretty neat. What has you seen out of the, the running back group so far? Uh, you know, I think we got a very versatile group, uh, you know, We've got a bunch of guys that have the ability to play and help us. So, you know, right now I think we've got uh, three or four guys that are ready to compete and then a couple more that have a chance to, you know, to develop by the time the season gets here. So uh, I've been really happy with the way they work. You know, they, they, they work hard. They're smart guys. And, uh, you know, they like to compete. And on top of it, they're, they're really good kids. They're easy to work with. What about Pacheco? I mean, early enrollee, you know, he should be in high school. Now, what have you seen out of him this spring? He is really tough. He's really uh, athletic. Uh, he works really hard. You know, obviously it's a big jump, you know, going from being a high school quarterback pretty much to, you know, being a Big Ten running back. But, you know, he definitely shows flashes of it in every practice, you know, where you say, boy, this guy's going to be a really good player. And uh, he, he has a great work ethic. Do you know what Jonathan I'm sorry? What Jonathan has meant to the world. Oh, he's been great. You know, I mean, have a guy that has been that successful of a college player and played at a really high level. Um, you know, he came from a great high school program, so he really understands what it's like to work. Uh, he's been, uh, a, you know, a great leader in there. You know, even though he's still learning the offense, uh, he's a very bright guy, and he, he really uh, he's brought a lot of maturity to the group. Coach Ash and Coach McNulty had some you know, specific thoughts on, you know, that Blackshear needs to get X number of touches per game for you guys to be successful. Do you feel like he needs to touch the ball a certain amount of times? Uh, yeah, he may be our most dynamic offensive player. You know, so I mean, you know, I, I, John has talked a lot about one making sure that he plays in every game. Uh, you know, so keeping him healthy uh, is really important. But you know, we have to find ways to get him the ball. You know, whether it's a run game, pass game, you know, the return game, he, he can really do a lot of different things. He's a very dynamic player. Do you think this group is going to help you do that, though? I mean, so you said three or four guys. Who should Absolutely, be yeah. That's what you know. I, I think it's really important. I mean, you know, uh, what Jonathan brings to the group, uh, you know, leadership experience. Uh, you know, the, the schemes. You know, maybe the, the terms are different, but the schemes are comparable to some of the stuff he's done. And then Trey Snead has done a great job. And you know, to see Pacheco's development, I, I think that we have the guys that you know we can uh, make sure that we spread the ball around. Recruiting. How's that been? You know, the adjustment phase to it, and how's it? I mean, a lot of coaches know you already, but what's it been like? Um, you know, it's been interesting. I mean, I, you know, I think I have a lot of good relationships, and you know, the majority of the guys that I'm recruiting are going to be up in North Jersey. So, uh, you know, I know a lot of the kids, you know, and uh, you know, I, I know a lot of their families. So that part of it's been pretty good. Um, you know, I, I'm really excited to kind of develop relationships outside the area and kind of, you know, maybe enhance some of the relationships I've had in the past. Um, you know, obviously, I, you know, the, the kids in the league that I coached in, obviously, I, I know a, a lot about a lot of those guys. But, you know, it's been fun kind of delving into finding out more about uh, some of the other kids. And, you know, I, I you know, I'm you know, a lot of, you know, I've listened to a lot of guys kind of complain about that part of this job. I'm actually pretty excited about that, that part of this job. You know, I think... Uh, you know, I think it should be fun. I think you know you really want to get to know the guys that you're going to coach. So, uh, I, you know, I've been pretty excited about that part. You know, as you were always known for your, your offensive uh, innovation, what's it like working for John in the first year? You guys coming in together? It's great. You know, I I, I think you know one uh, to see. He, you know, in a lot of ways, it's very much exactly how it's done in the NFL, and I think that's really exciting to kind of learn uh, some of the things that he's doing, some of the different protections, some of the different run schemes. Uh, it's it's really uh, it's it's really good football. You know, he's a really intelligent guy, and the, the scheme is uh, you know it's really effective. So I, I think it's been a lot of fun, and you know, my my biggest goal at this point is just to do my job the best I can. You know, there, there may be a point where I can help contribute. You know. Uh, somewhat scheme wise but right now my biggest focus is kind of just learning the system and doing my job is your first year made easier just having an older guy like john hillman in the room to try to lead some of those younger guys does that make your job any easier it definitely you know i mean he, he and you know i've kind of told him he's like dealing with a man you know i mean he's you know they're all young men but he, he is uh, you know at, at this point in his career 
you know, he is, uh, you know, he's been, he's played a lot of football and he's played a lot of high level football. So, you know, uh, he can, you know, lend a lot of, uh, you know, advice and experience to the other guys. And he's pretty, you know, while he's a great competitor, he's also pretty even keeled. You know, his, his personality. Okay. From, okay. From, from a uh, philosophy standpoint, are you a spread the wealth guy, backfield by committee, uh, more of a bell cow guy? I mean, what's your preference? Of, of oh, well, I, I think, you, you know, one, I mean, the biggest thing is keeping everybody healthy. So, you know, sure. if you have guys that we have the ability to spread the ball out, uh, I think that we're definitely going to do that. But, you know, I really think that that, that almost mentality should be set by the head coach and the mm-hmm. offense coordinator. And, and I, you know, I, I – feel pretty strongly that that's what we're going to do because we have talented guys and, you know, we might as well, you know, there may be games where we're riding the hot hand, but I think that uh, we're going to definitely try and, you know, spread the carries out so, you know, guys can stay healthy. What's the reaction been like from the North Jersey community now that you're in this role and you're going back in there as a college coach trying to improve some of these kids? What do you think the reaction has been like? So far, it seems like it's been really positive. You know, I mean, a lot of those guys, a lot of those relationships go back my yeah. entire life, you know, I mean, uh, you know, my dad was a coach. I played against some of those guys. I coached against all of them, you know, so I, I feel like, uh, you know, and there are a lot of guys, you know, just different, you know, camps, clinics and stuff over the years. You know, I, I think I have a lot of good relationships. So, uh, you know, so far that's been pretty seamless. Thanks, Coach.